lockout tagout is one of the standards that OSHA routinely cites against and is probably one of the standards that, that protects our employees the most when doing servicing and maintenancing of equipment. So when is lockout and tagout required? Anytime we're doing servicing and maintenance of machines and equipment and which the unexpected energization or startup of the machines or equipment or the release of stored energy could cause injury to employees. So if you're doing servicing, you're doing maintenance work under the lockout tagout standard here, that energy must be isolated. Now there are three parts of an energy isolation program. There's the energy control procedures, employee training, and periodic inspections. Now I wanna talk just briefly about the difference between an energy control procedure and a policy. Many of us have lockout tagout policies and it's an overreach, uh, over, overreaching, if you will, a uh, document uh, overriding document that details how we go about implementing our lockout tagout program. We upload those policies to like Verforce under the special program evaluations uh, function. Those are graded by a great team at Verforce against the standard. But that's not an energy control procedure. That's a policy, right? The energy control procedure is actually how we go about locking and tagging a machine out when it comes to energy isolations. 